Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Becky and I'm a fashion lifestyle blogger and I post here on YouTube as often as I feel like it, to be honest. I'm not going to promise you uploads on a certain schedule because clearly I can't stick to one. But I do post every single day on Instagram so I would love to see your faces over there too. I'll put a link in the description box if you want to come and find me over there. So today's video is going to be a little bit of like a little self-care kind of vlog which I know doesn't look like one because I'm sat down right now but it's going to be a vlog later. So HQ Hair very kindly gave me a voucher to do a little bit of shopping on their website and I've gone through and bought a whole bunch of stuff a lot of it is stuff that I've used before and I already know and I already love and some of it is stuff that's new that I haven't tried out before and I'm gonna be trying out with you guys today so there's a bit of both but sorry the pile of stuff is like behind the camera so I'm looking at that as I'm talking to you so it's gonna be a little bit of both kind of trying things out and just showing you some of my favorites but they have a whole bunch of really great Black Friday offers on their website so I wanted to mention those to you before I go into kind of the vlog and trying things out. I need to grab my laptop because I don't want to tell you everything wrong. So they have a whole bunch of different Black Friday sales, Cyber Week sales on their website already but you can also get with my discount code that is going to be on the screen right now up to 50% off a whole bunch of items. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can go and see those items. I believe all of the items that I'm going to be sharing with you today are on that list. So, so in addition to all the crazy Black Friday sales and Cyber Week sales that are already on their website, like live currently, you can also get up to 50% off everything that I'm showing you in this video and a whole bunch more items with my discount code that's going to be on the screen now. And I'm going to put the link and the discount code in the description box too if you want to go have a browse. But obviously be quick because whenever there's big sales, Black Friday sales and stuff, things go so quickly. So if you're interested, if you're looking for things for you, for a friend, for a loved one, definitely go and check them out quickly. And yeah, the link will be in the description, so go check them out. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the items now. I'm gonna have a little pamper evening. I have been filming all day. I am so tired and I am just in need of a little bit of TLC. And I'm literally just gonna go through and have a little pamper evening and bring you guys along for it. So the first thing that I like to do for a very like kind of chilled evening is light a nice candle. So this one is by Aromaworks and it smells amazing. I've already had it out of the box. I've been sniffing it. So this one is the lemongrass and bergamot scent. I love anything with bergamot in. It smells so, so nice. I'm going to move these there. And it's just, it's one of my absolute favorite scents. Okay, yeah, the bergamot scent is so amazing. And this one, literally, the second you open the box, you can smell this candle. And it's just so lovely. And I just think there's nothing better than a nice ambiance with a nice lit candle when you're trying to have a chill evening. So then the next thing that I like to do is put on some nice music. So my favorite one I'm trying to chill is listening to Halsey. She's my favorite artist. And I love listening to her like stripped slash acoustic playlist. So that's what I'm putting on. But obviously you guys are not going to be able to hear it. I'm going to have to pause it in any clips where I'm talking because... So I've just put on some comfy clothes and I'm tying my hair up. I promise I didn't match my scrunchie to my clothes on purpose. And to take my makeup off, I'm just using the Ordinary Cleanser. This stuff is so good for getting your makeup off. Um, and then I'm following that up with a face wash and a facial brush just to make sure I've really got all the last of that makeup off. And it's all gone. Sometimes I will use the Pixie Glow Tonic afterwards because it's like a liquid exfoliant. But I had this dermaplaning kit from HQ Hair that I really wanted to try out. So I tried that out and my skin was so smooth afterwards. And I like kind of shaved that little bit of hair in front of my ears and everything. So my hair was all tidy. And yeah, here I am being very happy with myself. Hey, um, so I was gonna film like the rest of this video as a kind of like voiceover kind of thing and not really like talk in the video but i was just thinking about it and like the shower stuff like the stuff that i do in the shower like i can't really show you that so i thought that i would talk you through some of the things that i'm going to be trying out slash using again like if it's something that i've used before so the first thing that i'm going to be trying that's new i've never used before is this big brush so if you haven't got the hint yet from my like skincare pre-shower skincare routine you will from hearing my shower routine 
I am really obsessed with um, exfoliation and getting away dead skin. I feel like it's the best thing for your skin in the world to make your skin glow is to just kind of get rid of all the dead skin. And I feel like I stopped having a really spotty face ever since I started exfoliating regularly and it's the only thing that I really changed. I got this, which is like a soft bristled long brush. It was like four pounds or something. It's from Eco Tools. And basically, I just wanted to use this just to scrub my skin with a little bit. I feel like I buy sponges so often, but then sponges need replacing so often. So I thought a brush might be something a little bit more like eco-friendly. And also like you can get like a really good like brush on your back like I can reach all the way down past my waist to nearly my bum just from the top. So like how cool is that one handle? So I'm going to be trying this in the shower today. So I'm also going to be using this scrub. So this is the Sanctuary Spa Salt Scrub. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And it is literally what it says. It is a little salt scrub. And this is so good. It says skin polishing indulgence with dead sea salts and a rich blend of nourishing jojoba, coconut and almond oils. Oh, it smells so good. I worked with Sanctuary for the first time a few years back, I don't remember what it was. And ever since then, I have been hooked on Sanctuary stuff. It's just so good, it feels so luxurious and it always is just amazing. There's quite a few sanctuary things in here. You'll notice that I already used this face wash. This face wash is really nice. I like using this one in the morning because it's really refreshing and it makes you feel like really bright and awake and especially with cold water. So that is one that I've used a lot before. I have new bottles of everything in this video but quite a lot of the things I have used before. I'm not claiming to have used like the exact ones in this video if that makes sense but I've used them before. Anyway, so the salt scrub is so, so nice for exfoliating and being able to get a really nice scrub on your skin, really get away all that dead skin and just scrub away the day. And this one is such a nice one. It is quite like luxury and it feels quite indulgent, but it's so worth it. It's so, so worth it. It's so good. I also have this one to show you. So this is a moisturizer from Sanctuary. And it's so cool because you can put it on in the shower. So I always forget to moisturize. Like I get out of the shower and then I just get dressed and go and I'm done. Whereas this one, you can, um, while you're still wet in the shower, you put this one on and it soaks into your body really really easily it doesn't like you know how moisturizer stays like quite sticky on your skin for a while it doesn't do that it soaks in really nicely i have used this type for, before actually from sanctuary they have one that's just the wet skin moisture miracle but this one is the ultra rich wet skin moisturizer miracle so i haven't used this exact one i've used the original which is pink mm, it smells nice i think this one's gonna be a bit thicker yeah, it feels like a thicker texture. So this is like pretty much the only body moisturizer that I ever use because I'm too lazy for anything that I need to like get out of the shower and put on myself. Like it's just it's too much effort. Then I I'm gonna try this one as well, which is quite interesting. So you, it's like a face mask, but it's for the shower. It says you massage it into your face and it will release a heating effect which is really exciting i love heating face masks and then it says leave it on dur during the shower or bath and rinse off so i think the heat because it says it's an in shower steam facial i think that the steam will help it heat up and i'm really excited to try that i'm going to try that one in the shower today and then i do have one more new thing i could have done this part sat in, in my bedroom but Bill is on a business call, so I can't. Also, I've just ripped this box. <laughs> Yikes. Oops. Okay, so in here, I have quite a few Grow Gorgeous things to try out. So they have a serum that helps you grow your hair. So it's the Growth Serum, and I have the Intense one. So I'm going to be trying that one out after the shower. I think you put it on every time you wash your hair. You just massage this into your scalp. 
when you've washed your hair my friend shannon uses a lot of girl gorgeous stuff and she swears by it which is what's made me decide to try it out i did get like this like gift set which has the obviously that growth serum in and then a bit of the shampoo their conditioner their mask and a volumizing primer because i figured that rather than going ahead and getting like the big versions of everything i could then try it out and see if i like it and then buy the full sizes if they work for me so i've got in this one as well the mini shampoo and conditioner that i'm going to be trying out so this one is the volume root stimulating primer and you put this one on before your shampoo and you leave it on for 10 minutes is that on wet hair or dry hair i'm not sure i'm gonna have to look that up because it says you leave it on for 10 minutes so how do you leave it on for 10 minutes in the shower that seems like a long time it must be dry right i'm gonna read about it i'm gonna look that up and then lastly in the box is the thickening hair and scalp mask so i've heard a lot of good things about this hair mask as well so i'm really excited about that i think this is another one that shannon uses and her hair is absolutely gorgeous like you know some people just have hair that you just can't stop looking at it's like that mm, that one does more nice mm, okay so i'm going to try these all in the shower today i think i'm going to use well the ones that you use in the shower i'm going to try in the shower the ones that you don't use in the shower i'm not gonna but i'm gonna be trying all of that today i did get as well i'm not gonna be using it today but i got this um three-in-one hair mask and this one is from what is it called Ghana? yeah it's a garnier one and it is their banana one it smells so good it smells like you know those little banana foam sweets it smells like them it's so so good my friend rach uses this one and her hair always smells amazing so i've used this one a couple times now actually because i bought it after seeing how good her hair looked so this one is a like top up for me because this is something that I would use like once a week. The Grow Gorgeous ones are a little bit more pricey. So I wouldn't use those like once a week. I'd probably use that maybe like once a month as a bit more like spoiling myself kind of thing rather than once a week. Because I think the Grow Gorgeous one is about £30 a tub, which is pretty pricey for me. Whereas I think this one's about six or seven pounds a tub. So I don't mind using this one as, as frequently okay so i've looked it up and you can use the root primer on wet or dry hair so i'm going to put it on dry hair and then um i can leave it on for 10 minutes before i shower and my hair looks really greasy now yeah, good luck. can you imagine hi guys welcome back to my channel jabara about this champagne gosh the camera quality looks so bad when i don't have the light on now look listen this may make my hair look super greasy but it feels really nice like i can feel the like cooling eucalyptus kind of thing in it and it's so nice um anyway i'm gonna leave it on 10 minutes and then jump in the shower and i am ready for a long hot shower today because i'm just so tired hey so i don't know if the like lighting is weird because i haven't brought in my my light I don't know why it took me so long to think of what that said. Um, but I'm just coming in to do a little bit of post-shower skincare. I'm going to put on some of this. Is that the right one? This one. I don't know how to say that. Oh, there we go. I'm going to use a little bit of that one. And a little bit of this one, the hyaluronic acid. This one came in a little like gift set that you can get on the HQ website. So I'll put a link to that. And it is so nice. I heard that this one is really good for clear and like glowy skin and the hyaluronic acid one can be really useful for um, like plump skin. Yeah, basically just not having like tired looking dried out skin. So normally if I'm having like a big pamper night, I would um, do a face mask as well, but I did that in shower one so i don't want to do another one tonight i feel like it's a bit excessive and it would just be a little bit for the sake of it so i'm gonna skip that one tonight you don't need a lot of hyaluronic acid it goes really far my face looks so red on the camera but it's not in real life it's fine um i'm gonna use a jade roller to just kind of rub those in and i'll be right back and um, this is the ordinary moisturizing factors I'm gonna put this, I put way too much of that on my hand. I don't do anywhere near that much. 
and i use this on morning and night i used to use morning cream and night cream but honestly i just don't really like feel the need to use two different ones i know there's probably a reason that there's two different ones but it just feels excessive for me and i don't see any difference since i've been just using the same one morning and night yeah i'm so excited because phil's currently making bolognese so i'm gonna go have some bolognese and then i'm gonna just sit in bed read my book with my candle lit and i am very excited because i'm very sleepy so it will be nice to just have a little bit of a relax in bed and fall asleep also i've put on my favorite big baggy t-shirt because Let's be honest, who actually wears like matching pajamas or anything like that? So here I just thought I would show you a few of my other favorite face masks that I use quite regularly. This Sanctuary Spa one is so nice. It warms up on your skin and feels so good and your skin just feels so clear after. And then it was time to go read my book and eat my chocolate orange. Good morning. Um, I just realized that I didn't film a like outro kind of thing last night which is quite convenient because I actually do have one more brush, not the one I'm using right now, one I'll show you in a second, that I got from HQ Hair. And I wanted to show you, but I wasn't gonna because it didn't fit in with the video last night. So I figured since I forgot to film an outro, I would show you this morning. Recently I've been wearing my hair in like a slicked bun like this most days, especially if I'm just at home but it always goes super frizzy and I can never really get it properly slicked. So I bought one of these like bristle hair brushes. I don't know what they're called. I'll show you in a second. And it smooths it so well. So I wanted to show you that. I'm gonna do like, I think like a proper tutorial on this on Instagram soon. Cause every time I've talked about struggling with the slick buns, <laughs> Loads of people agree. So I'm gonna like just brush it through and smooth it and then probably retie that bubble. I'm too sleepy to really function or be interesting this morning. Amazing. I love how smooth and shiny that gets my hair. Also, how like smooth the side of my face is when I shave those bits off. I just can't stand it when I have hair coming down here that won't tuck into my ponytail. Doop, doop, doop. I don't really know what I wanted to say now. I just wanted to show you my brush and how smooth it makes my hair. I'm gonna go now and what am I gonna do first? Wash my face, brush my teeth, have some coffee, and probably start editing this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. There's gonna be links to everything in the description box, my discount code and everything, um, so that you can go and shop on HQ Hair. And yeah, happy shopping. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye.